2443. Okay. Warn them, end it now, I rest. Alright, I guess. We're going to, to end whatever's going on. Oh, and guess who's back? We'll call him Mr. Pew Pew or something. Um, I kind of need an escape route here. Oh, shit, that's blocked off. Never mind. Okay, man, really. Just kind of please. We just rush to the bunker. Hope that it somehow works. Fucking hell. If only I knew where the bunker is. Do you like to stop there for a second? Let me look at the map. Uh, this way. At least I hope so. Yes. Two, four, four, three. To your bunker now. Stop attacking me. I close the doors behind me. Maybe not. Maybe I don't even want to. Uh, light. Bugger. Okay, there's a lot of things to uncover. Apparently. Hmm. Some kind of, of box here. That's not shitty. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me vision. Thank you. Got this. Got that. Got this. Got that. Oh, well, we might need some help here. Shit, wrong button. Mm, let's try the old fashioned way. Works. This. That. This. Put that. Fucking hell. That was unnecessary. And the last one's back in. We should have probably not opened everything immediately. Let's go back and take a look at everything. I just hope that there's not like... Big boy... Whoever jumping out of it in a second. Awaiting input. We all have our doubts regarding Agent Rainbow. In its current state, it is an extremely volatile and dangerous fear-based weapon. But if we can make it work, make it stable... It could mean the end of conventional warfare. So many lives would be spared. I have to believe that Agent Rainbow will end up being a net positive, despite the sacrifices. I have to, especially after what happened with the ship crash. I can't help but feel that our experiments had something to do with it. Okay. Chances are that's the case, yes. And I guess now we uncover the truth about Agent Orange. Uh, Agent Rainbow, sorry. While stocking up on the goods. Since we've been confined to this bunker as a safety measure.
pressure, there's not much else we can do but continue our research. Lately, I've been hearing voices on the radio. Are these the voices of people who have been affected by Agent Rainbow? What will happen if I talk back? It's always the question, isn't it? What happens if I talk back? I hope, hope this is three and not four. Agent Rainbow turns the people affected by it into a walking radio tower, transmitting and receiving knowledge and experiences to and from the collective unconscious. The people I've spoken to through the radio, they were able to describe to me in vivid detail places they've never been to, and people they've never met. It's like they have the internet inside their heads, and they're constantly uploading and downloading information. It's enough to drive anyone out of their minds. Okay, that explains why we can go from people's mind to people's mind. So we, maybe the car crash theory um, wasn't correct, but we actually got the chemical in our brain. But still, like, none of this is actually real. Recent discoveries made by my team have been groundbreaking, to say the least. Agent Rainbow is so much more than what we believed it to be. Its original purpose is merely a, a side effect. Its true potential lies with its connection to the collective unconscious, this sort of metaphysical repository of knowledge and experience, accumulated through generations of existence and inherited by every human being upon their birth. Think about it. How do babies already know how to hold their breath underwater? Why do so many people have an innate fear of snakes? It's thanks to the collective unconscious, which we're all connected to via our personal unconscious. Up until now, this connection was one-sided, but Agent Rainbow changes all of that. Can't carry any more of this. That is so <sighs> fucking hell. That's of some wild theories. It is. Rosemary, you can't be serious. This is your crowning achievement. Our crowning achievement. Our work with Agent Rainbow could change the course of mankind. And you want to hide it? If you want to sabotage your own career, then so be it. But you don't get to take us down with you, Ash Hall. Interesting. So this might be radio voice girl. This might be radio voice girl. Right, is that the last room? It might be the last room. Central Intelligence Bureau, headquarters of the Commander in Chief, Washington DC. From Commander in Chief, United States Air Force to Colonel, Colonel Adam Klink, Fort Sunder Base Commander. Changes to anti-aircraft assault radar operation operators manual. Due to repeated mechanical failures of the experimental AAA control radius control system during adverse weather conditions, the following protocol has to been put in place. In case of failure, turn power off and on. Turn on the radar's manual control system within close proximity to the dish using a standard issue radio device. Target the radar's rotational disks with your radio device in order to move the dish. Press the red fire button on the dedicated console once the red target is inside. Repeat process for each new target. Special care must be taken not to aim the radar dish at any radio towers or the large-scale radio gear in the vicinity as conflicting radio signals may result in electromagnetic interferences and damage to equipment. So this is probably a hint on how we should go on with the boss fight and there's like two options here. Either we lure them to a tower and um, make a big boom. I oh, know, we'll find out. Attention all staff. Due to a clear breach of our information security policy, Rosemary James' time as mayor project ma manager has come to an end. 
You will now report directly to Mr. Ashholm. The success and safety of this research rely on your discretion. We'll soon know who Rosemary was talking to. Bill Bird. Interesting. So it actually was the girl, the radio voice girl, that wanted to like stop the madness. Quite literally. Why do we stock up on so many pills again? Do we need to run? Or is it just... Very random again. I guess we, we waddle up here and let's take a look. Oh boy, guess who's back. Use radar thing. This is quite handy. Um. Mm. Oh. I'm not entirely sure what to do now. I'll just press this button. We didn't turn it at all, did we? Can we see something? No. Hello there, Colin. I'm just lurking, not having a good day, enjoy and have fun. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the lurk, appreciate it. Pretty, pretty angry. At least he likes to shoot at us. Wow. Did he? Oh, 
Oh, are we are we done with the shooting? Yeah, I'll relate to that. I'll be a crazy old man to to soon do. And now what? It's okay. Angry street light. Lucas knew there was more to this than meets the eye. Dead. I need to make contact with him. What are we doing? I thought we don't want to shoot him anymore. I thought we don't want to shoot him anymore. Well, maybe we do. Is there anybody out there? Hello? Lucas Cole, if you can hear me, this is Desmond Wales. Do you read? Holy hell! How are you doing this? Are you okay? I'm hanging in there, but I could use your help. Can you get to my office? <laughs> I read you loud and clear, brother. Help is on the way. Fucking hell, man. So Lucas might not yes. be in. It's all starting to make sense now. It actually is. I can't carry that much ammo. It actually is making sense. Like, the story is good. They could have just taken, like, three less hours to tell it. Mostly by shortening the last level. Like this one could have had less, like one less tower or something would still be like the same thing. But like especially the level before was uh, so that's me in a nutshell, very overstretched. Fucking hell. I apologize. It's about that cat of yours, Tanya, right? I'm sorry. Lucas, is everything all right? Yeah. Sorry, I just. So we were not already being drugged there. Eh? You didn't hear that, a, a woman's voice? No. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I, I was saying. Sorry for your loss. It was very edible. I saw you bury her by the old church. I wasn't going to say nothing, but what got her? Curiosity? Yes. That and uh, yeah. So Tonya's dead. Sag. Poor cat. Okay, I, we're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the finish of this. Can you explain to me why you're dead? So, it's all connected, is it? Sadly, yes. Had I listened to Lucas sooner, maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Well, you well to be fair... Now, and he listened back. I know. I, I never thought something like that was possible. I hope I'm not hallucinating and that Lucas is actually coming. Ancient Rainbow makes a lot of things possible. Pro 
probably know who's calling. And time. You crazy son of a gun. You did it. Now we can settle this mano a mano, don't you think? I'm leaving you something by the entrance to your building. Consider it a parting gift. Interesting. Be careful. Probably should be. A trench coat wearing government spookies up to something. Is it a government it's my record player? That sounds toss. Stop. Stop. Fucking hell. Unfortunate. Lucas Cole. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Suspected delusional disorder. Paranoid tendencies. Patient sought treatment on his own upon relocation to Milton Haven. Previous attempts at therapy have been mentioned as unsuccessful and satisfactory. Lucas mentioned he's felt ignored and dismissed by previous therapists as well as army officials and the Veterans Association. Personal history. Born and raised in northern Florida. Patient had excellent test scores throughout school and was determined to be the first member of his family to go to college. However, patient enlisted in the army following the steps of his father. Duan Cole, where he showed an affinity for electronics. Lucas spent 14 months fighting overseas before returning home. Patient suffers from a clear case of PTSD relating to combat, loss of friends. Patient claims to have been drugged during war, an accusation he says would not be believed or taken seriously by anyone during or after his service. Patient came back stateside, has been obsessively looking for answers, a quest that has led him here. Lucas claims he has secured a job as a groundkeeper at Elysium State Park and he was authorized to reside in a small cabin if he fixed it up, which he did. Psychological notes, patient is thoughtful and open when speaking about most topics. When the subject of war comes up, patient seems to show some symptoms of psychosis. He speaks of monsters, though he speaks very clearly and convic convincingly. Further consultation is advised before reaching a final diagnosis. Patient has a clear post-traumatic adrenal response to memories of combat. Vivid memory, vivid imagination. Patient's father passed away 10 years ago. Lucas oddly deflects any and all questions about his mother. Trixie, no way. How are you doing? It's been it's been a while. How are you doing, mate? I I, I read that you oh, took a I'm sorry, do you have something better to do? Okay, sorry, cat. <laughs> I, I read that you took a took a step back from, from streaming and everything. I love to hear it. Just taking a break. Break. It. I, I, honestly, sometimes it's it's not a bad decision, especially like when you when you enjoy like family time and all that. Can turn music back on. I feel toss part is over. <laughs> yeah. 